What's up? What's up? What's up, man? All right, just started recording, guys. We got Bow on, and now is the time to answer questions. <laughs> Bow, I got to be honest, dude. I'm so surprised you're here, man. I thought you were going to be out for like 48 hours bro, with that text at 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't even go to sleep, bro. <laughs> guys, guys, let me let me tell you how much freaking like Val is not a human being. I'm convinced he's like a descendant of Mars or something, bro. He texts me at like I gotta look at this timestamp, bro. He texts at 5 a.m. He's like, guys, I can't make it in today. Like my childhood friend just came into town spur of the moment, and I'm like, oh, okay. Well, Val's gonna have fun. He'll you know he'll have a party day. <laughs> like, dude, here he is helping you guys. I was like, what the hell, dude? You're you're not human, bro. You're not human. All right. Now, what are you trading? I hear webinar, the silence. Webinar is over. So I guess webinar is over. <laughs> what are you trading, bro? I hear I hear the silence. Oh no, I'm eating, dude. I ordered food. Oh, I was scared you're trading BTX right now. I was about to slap. It. <laughs> I was like, dude, don't do that. Did you trade it all, about? You traded something, right? Yeah. Slow, man. Dude, it's so slow today. Today was weird, man, because like I, I showed the guys the uh, the charts from earlier. We had. Dude, we had, we had really weird movers, bro. We had CRTD, which was really like a channel-based, like no range trader. Then we had ADMA, which had no meat pre-market, so it had to squeeze first. And then, bro, now we got another multi-day runner like BT, BTX. And I'm like, bro, this is MVIS all over again. And anybody who's early is going to get absolutely destroyed on the short side. Oh, the, the way if you want to short BTX is to wait for the first red day. Yep. But, but, the, but the problem, I think this, so if you take a look at the BTX filings, so you always need to look at the filings, guys. Always look at the filings. BTX has pretty fucking clean filings. I don't see any dilution at all. Any financing, right? You guys see anything? I don't see anything. So which leads me to believe that they're running it up to do an offering. So it's going to be a really difficult play for shorts if they do an offering just kind of out of the blue, right? Because you can't hold this shit swing short. You're going to die. So the way you play is, you don't play it. <laughs> you short. <laughs> either, either the first red day or not, but you know. Dude, look, I, take a look I, at the I, chart, man. This is what this one you need to do. So when you look at these charts, I'll show you. First thing is you look at the float. What's the float of that, Tosh? Uh, dude, I I can't even remember. Here, just do the get feature. <laughs> All right, Guys, check this out. Check this out. I want to show, I didn't show this. So let me show this at get. And then if you do a space and then a money sign and you type in BTX, check this out. Oh shit. I did money sign yet. Hold on. <laughs> if you type, you have to type in at get. What's going to happen? Where is it? What's with the right get feature? Oh, there we go. You have to do it right first. Guys, check this out. See this thread that opens up? Now you're going to be able to see all the information right here. Well, usually if it's listed and then you can go to Finviz, see the float, you know, see anything like that. So as you guys can see. Yeah. So look at that crazy ass chart, guys. One sec. All these ads. Dude, look at that, right? Like, look look at how long this has been accumulating for. These are days. These are Dude, days. It, this is just 10 or 15 days, I forget, on my chart. Look at that, six bucks. So all this move. Usually these end, they end when they blow out all the shorts. When you see a, they're doing that right now. So who knows? It could either end at 50 bucks or it could end at 100 bucks. <laughs> Also, guys, check this out. Remember what I said every single morning, you know, we've got somebody on the job. So like, it, obviously, BTX came a little bit later. But if you guys wanted, you know, a bunch of floater information that you couldn't find yourself on Finviz and stuff, it's right here, dude. We post this almost every single day in the fundamental analysis channel or someone does someone that's a fundamentals expert for sure. But the good thing about BTX is, you know, it's going to spark other small caps to run. That's why other stocks are running right now. Because they want to be the next BTX, right? 
Well, well, the, 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 the thing that I want people to like gather more than anything about is like, dude, screw BTX. Like I'm talking about anything about trend, bro. Look at like, why are people fighting trend? This is the thing that just makes me want to ring necks, like in a nice manner. But as an educator, I'm like, guys, you're begging to get destroyed on something like, look at this week long trend, right? It's been accumulating, even if it was in silence the first couple of days, dude, if you look at this like this, right? Like I brought this up earlier. If you look at it just like it's an intraday chart, like it's a quote unquote a day one, yeah, you're going to see death candles, you're going to see stuffs, and you're going to want to get short, but then you pull back and see the forest for the trees and you go, dude, you cannot touch this shit short in, until it's a first red day. Like you can't, yeah. dude. This is the, the way most new traders blow up is shorting low floats. If you make a rule, do not fucking touch any stock under 2 million share short or even 3 million share short you would be 90% better off than every trader that tried traded it. Cause that's most of the guys that blow up are the ones from the low float. All these that move this crazy is all low float. So I don't, when I, the first thing I do is I look at the float. I just fuck this year. I'm not touching it. It's like 2 million share float right or less. Right. Dude, I, I, Bow, I got a personal rule, man. I, I try to never short anything under 3 million float unless it is the ultimate death candle. I mean, dude, I'm talking like, like, is it like the, the candle that the X just put on? I'm talking like four times this size. That's the only time I'll touch something under 3 million. Other than that, dude, I mean, you can expect moves like this, right? Like these are the ones that run and run and run. And as Bow said, guys, when they, have, when they, when they do this kind of price action, when you see a multi-day runner, check one, a low float, check two, and then, and then completely uptrending and basically front side move and or hot chick above VWAP with this standard deviation way above. Guys, it's strike three. You're begging to die on the short side. You're just begging for it. Clean filings? Oh, come on. <laughs> and the thing is going long, you know, it's like you, you wait and you wait. And you're like, I should have went long at 30. I should have went long at 40. And then you go, fuck, I'm going to be long at 50 bucks. And then that's when you die. So the best bet for these, if you fucking miss the trade, just miss the trade, dude. This thing has ran all the way up. Why are you buying someone else's sucker shares, right? <clears throat> Dude, uh, this is yeah. definitely not a long. This is definitely not a short. This is no play. You have well, to wait. Well about the, one of the things we talked about recently in the week the last week in mentoring with harry shout out harry man we talked actually shout out claudio me harry and oliver bro what did we talk about guys would submit charts and they'd be like hey tosh you know i got in long here dude what do you think of this chart and i'm like dude no 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 bro i'm like first of all i love the fact that you weren't fighting trend but dude second of all that's a chase move there's not a bunch of long opportunities in here, like as much as you'd think. Like I know everybody's like, man, I could have bought right here, right? Like it, even still, man, with this kind of range, you're risking a lot, you know what I mean? And you're risking always like something like a T12 on something like this. I, I have a rule, never buy long ever on day three and above. I couldn't agree more. <clears throat> Now, the way I see this, man, is the only trade on BTX possible literally is a, is a first red day because the long side is too dangerous at this point. It's day three plus. It's yep. completely overextended. Who knows if they could do a T12? You never know. Something like that. Um, for those who don't know, you know, this does a T12 halt tomorrow. Your stock could be, you could be stuck in that position for a day or four years. <clears throat> and you're still paying commissions the entire time, every single day. So that's scary shit, man. That is no scary trade. stuff. Uh, the moment you start to look at stocks as a no trade, you basically save yourself a lot of money, man. Dude. Uh, not yeah. every stock, just because a stock's up does not mean it's, a, it's short, right? Well, and just because a stock's up doesn't mean it's a buy, right? Like just because a stock is pure fresh <clears throat> doesn't mean it's a good buy. You might, you might have nothing but a chase entry. It's like, dude, you are late to the orgy, man. <laughs> <laughs> You are now six days into the orgy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> this is an STD ready to fucking explode, bro. <laughs> you are six days late to the orgy. Bro, who has an orgy for six days straight? <laughs> I feel like I'd be late after the first 20 minutes. You never want to be the last guy to the orgy. <laughs> Oh man. Anyways. Well, that is one of the funniest things. I've is Tay here? Tay will kill us. HR here? <laughs> HR's not here. Let it fly. <laughs> I don't think she's here. 
<laughs> Yo, where you at? <laughs> Now's your chance, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, dude. I don't. I, here's the thing, guys. About like, I, dude. As funny as that analogy is, I, like, there's really a lot of truth in that, man. It's like, dude, I don't want to be five minutes late to a stock. I don't want to even be five minutes late to an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> and that might happen this weekend given all these hinge chicks <laughs> like i'm not ruling anything out but when it comes to when it comes to trading guys the number one thing you need to pay attention to is entries and trend <laughs> and i think they're equally important and when you have a bad entry counter trend i don't care if you're long or short you're dead dude you're begging to have an unprofitable career or at the very you know least of the worst situations is tread water and then you're like burnt out after a year and like, oh, I got to hate every trade. <coughs> Trading's not for me. And now you have to vilify trading because dude, you just kept getting in your own way. While other guys like me or Bao or Joe or the hundreds and hundreds of our members are not fighting counter trend all day. Their entries are good. They're waiting for their lines. That's the difference, man. So, you know, I don't know how I can make it any more clear, but guys, you fight trend, you die. It's like the number one thing I try to teach every single week. And, <clears throat> and I see a lot of people and you can go through Twitter today and I'll bet you, I mean, dude, I'll bet you by the end of the day, you're going to see a lot of these big quote unquote traders that you may respect or maybe not, but they're familiar faces, they're familiar names. And for the ones that at least are transparent about their losses, dude, they're going to be like, I got wrecked today, 90,000. I got wrecked today, 140. Yeah, no shit, dude. Because hey, this guy, there's, there's this guy. Let me, let me show you in the in the YouTube, uh, in the YouTube. Guys, we're, we're not fucking doing pirating, okay, guys? I don't know who this Harry guy is, but he needs to be blocked. <laughs> Anyone has MIC videos? We can trade videos. I have the. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Man? Oh, you're literally. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. <laughs> no, you know what, dude? Harry, go ahead and pirate, man. We now actually have your account info. Can probably get your details and submit you for fraud. Dude, our videos are free on YouTube. You can swap those. <laughs> yeah. And they'll probably teach you better than anything that's ever been sold. Dude, you, bro, you don't publicly. Hey, hey, but hey, he doesn't have the Tim Sykes ones? <laughs> <laughs> I have the Tim Gratani ones, one and two. Yeah. Oh, did, did Tim do a second one? I don't know, dude. Yeah, I think he did. <clears throat> Guys, just <laughs> again, man. <laughs> I, I don't even know how to comment to that, man. <laughs> yeah. Guys, work ethic, man. Put in the work, guys. Put in the work to do something you love. There's no freebies in life, man. Anybody who thinks there's a freebie, even the people who like, Dude, even lottery winners <laughs> bought lottery tickets for like five years before they won. And everybody's like, oh, they're an overnight success. No, dude, they showed up to the Super Pumper gas station for five years. Like every Tuesday, Saturday, Friday. Like the point is, dude, if you want something, work hard for it, man. <clears throat> you just, yeah. Well, you know, uh, if you want to start, this is for the YouTube guys. If you want to start somewhere, start with the MIC free videos on YouTube. Yep. Yep. You don't, guys, you don't, you need, a, you don't need a, you don't need to pirate those. If you have any question of how to get there, guys, just go, literally, I'm not even kidding you, go to our website. This is the easiest one, but scroll all the way down, boom. You're now on our um, on our YouTube channel. There's no excuse. Right? Here we are. Dude, watch this one. This is a fun video I put together. Or actually, I think that's just the short version. Watch the, watch the long version of the pump and dump one I put together. You'll understand why you're losing and what a pump and dump is. I tried to make it as fun and entertaining as I could. <laughs> Arthur, what's up, buddy? Just joined MIC, loving it, cool. Guys, let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Who here actually, and be honest, please be honest. I don't want you guys polishing this for us. We don't do hired actors or anything. Who got the accelerator course and found a ton of use out of it? Did it really help your trading? Seriously. Like, give me a thumbs up or something. <clears throat> Drink man, nice. Arthur, Skay, Woody, David. Wow. Best single trading video I've ever seen, Steven. Thank you, buddy. Our new junior moderator. Awesome. He just gave that pirate the idea, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Now the pirate's gonna DM all these guys. <laughs> you just gave out all the lists of the guys that have the video, bro. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna see freaking dude. I'm gonna see Joe's accelerator course on Pornhub tonight. Like <laughs> category <laughs> traders. <laughs> That's funny. Well worth it watching more, dude. I gotta tell you something. I gotta tell you something. You know who I respect the most at MIC are these people, dude. Let, let me let me pin this, bro. Watched it two more. T- so basically, watched it like three times. Dude, that's unbelievable. What a work ethic, man. An eight-hour video he felt that was so compelled to watch again for his learning. That can watch it three you, times. You that's should – new traders should watch it more than once because the first time you watch it, you, you may not understand every term. You probably won't understand every term. So you need to watch it a couple of times. A few well, times. dude, it's, it's like watching like Interstellar with freaking Matthew McConaughey. It's like the first time you watch it, you're like, all right, I got an understanding of space and all this. Then the third time you watch it, you're like, holy shit, dude, that was fucking Matt Damon. Like, you see what I'm saying? Like you're going back and you're <laughs> catching all the stuff that you missed, man. <clears throat> now, did you ever see Interstellar? Um, dude, I forgot. That's a really old movie. Yeah. Dude, dude it's, it's like mine and Alex is probably top three of all time favorites. And bro, I remember the day I was sitting with my chick in the movie and I literally, dude, I, like we almost like, smacked each other across the face looking at like the, the, <laughs> the cameo that was Matt Damon. Like we were so blown away in the middle of the movie. I couldn't, it was the best cameo of all time, man. It was the best cameo ever done. History of film. I must watch it then. Must watch. Is it but comedy? Then, you hated the last Avengers, didn't you? So I don't know, man. <laughs> Bow's hard to please, bro. Bow is so hard to please in a movie, bro. That is literally one of the best movies ever made. And this is coming from a film major who graduated college, wanted to be a filmmaker and studied script doctoring for three plus years. I probably know more about script doctoring than actual training. That's a good movie. Is is this better than Dumb and Dumber? (laughs) That's one of my favorite films. (laughs) Dude, Dumb and Dumber cannot be beaten by anything. Guys, who has questions? Now's your now's your time. Get some questions, man. Let's get some questions answered. Do you have for the YouTube guys? Do you have any questions about what it's like to be an MIC member? If we didn't convey that, you got you got to put Master Yu on. She gets most questions. Yo, <laughs> hey, where yeah. are you at? Let's bring her on. Bring Faye on. She's probably in a business meeting right now. <laughs> Last time we brought her on, they're asking all these, <laughs> "Are you single?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're trying to find her hinge, freaking IP, IP address. <laughs> How many of you guys are crypto traders? I'm curious, dude. Do we have a lot of crypto traders in here? We don't teach crypto, dot, 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 yet. <laughs> but <clears throat> Mind you guys, crypto is not Forex. Forex is a complete <laughs> bullshit scam. Crypto is just another, um, that's just another niche uh, that we actually don't teach. But I'm, I'm curious if we have some crypto traders. Bro, I'm seeing stories like this, Bow. I'm like, dude, I'm seeing stories that like, if you put $1,000 into XYZ crypto a month ago, you'd be $33 million richer today. I'm like, damn. <laughs> NFTs for life. That's funny, David. Forex, brother. Fuck crypto. Yo, let's go. All in Forex, baby. Retirement plan and the Doge. Dogecoin. I don't, but there was a great first bounce on Doge. <laughs> first bounce on Doge. Yo, let me get that death line short on Doge when it's ready, man. <laughs> let me get the first red day on freaking Dogecoin. <clears throat> Ask your questions, guys. Ask your questions. Hey, me and Bow can go to lunch if you want. If you got no questions, we can go get fo early. Fa. Yep. Thanks Let us know, guys. Let us know. We're here for you. We're here for you. Hey, give me your number again, Tosh. Join. Guys, you guys are YouTube that you know. for anything, text. I must have accidentally put it in there. Uh, three, four, oops, four, five, eight, five, nine, nine, seven. Um, signing up. <laughs> well, it's pinned on top of YouTube, guys. Uh, accelerator you know. course, anything, guys. <laughs> I get questions like, "What's your website?" <laughs> dude. <laughs> I think I like, dude. <laughs> Bro, my my, I think I think the best DM I've ever gotten in my in, in my entire life was some guy just puts when Lambo question mark. <laughs> I go, when you hit the fucking lottery, get lost. 
When Lambo. When Lambo? Mm-hmm. Like, when do I get a Lambo? Oh. <laughs> when you actually learn how to trade. <laughs> when. <laughs> <laughs> when Lambo. <laughs> Can I ask a question, classic? Dude, I, I'm not kidding. There's no quicker way to infuriate. I've now grown accustomed to the same hate for this for as Bao has, but dude, there's no way to get under Bao's skin more than say hi, or <clears throat> can I ask you a question? Do not start a conversation with Bao like that, dude. He will not answer back. What are you supposed to say when you say hi? Like, geez, okay. I'd say bye. <laughs> 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 can I ask you a question? No, that's usually what I play. Can I ask you a question? Well, first off, if if I was a genie and you only had three questions, you just used your first one asking if you can ask me a question. It's like, yeah, you can ask a question. Okay. <laughs> Two wishes left. Sergey 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 has a question. How many? Decide how many shares to put in each bullet. I mean, that's all. We have a sizing video, guys, on how to properly size. So I think um, Aloha made it. I don't know who made it, but. There's, well, there's you know what we you know what we have now that's that's probably more uh, descriptive than that is guys Joe Kelly Trading Basics he goes into a calculators and yeah. how much you should use as per your account like it's very in depth so you know go to the video library yeah he made a he made a calculator too so yeah 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 everything so uh, if you just actually it's right here just you don't even need to search it Trading Basics series with Joe Kelly if you guys go you'll notice man look episode fifty seven. Go to the go to the first page. well go to the last page which is the first of these descriptions you'll see stock terms you know for somebody that doesn't even know you know what trading is you know order montage boxes PDT SSR guys risk management um, then he'll get into things like risk reward you know calculators right here guys position sizing this is the video you want right here what do I need to risk as per my account size based on a certain level of hey i'm new to training here's how to put the training wheels on before i want to be a little bit more aggressive because i know what i'm doing that's what you start off with 57 videos so no way bt really oh my god val 46. <clears throat> guys just to give you a little bit of live trader psychology in no way do I feel left out of this because again, if you're longing right here, you're chasing like a monster. And number two, this is 100,000, 10 billion percent, not a short. So do I feel like I'm missing out? Nope. Is this giving me FOMO? Not even 1%. <clears throat> you guys have to get to this point where you recognize opportunity and, and know when to stomp on the gas pedal and know when to ease the F off the gas pedal and right now shorts you need to take both feet off the gas pedals and hit the e-brake so i hope that's clear but that's a little bit of thought process into someone you know who's seen this for seven years man guys just wait for the first red day and if you need to load the boat that day then do so with again just as bow says pre you can trade anything but predefine your risk and if you want to size up because the first red day <clears throat> is kind of a more rare and and wonderful setup especially for size wait for that don't get chipped up here don't get chipped up here here and here and then by the time the first red day comes guys now you're like a deer in headlights and you're too scared and you're shitting your trading diaper when usually if you just waited for the first red day and you used two or three times the size you're using on this, this. Is a, this is a super low float man i wouldn't even fucking touch it at all i'll give a fuck seriously mvis with a big float so that's true you know, this this is just, you never fucking know. Dude. Someone can own the entire float. That's so true, bro. And they they would trap you in a fake first red day. Dude, I, I I'm telling I'm telling you, man, I I couldn't agree more. So on a low float, guys, if you're new to trading, do not touch these low floats. Yep, yep, I couldn't agree more. You go long though, but shorting no, but you should not go long on a low on any stock on day three and above. They could, they could offer it, do an offering anytime. Guys, between offerings, between, <coughs> you know, T12, you know, halts, they're, they're the really, for any of you guys who don't know, they're basically just a halt. A T12 halt is something that's not, it's not common, but when it happens, it's about the worst thing that can happen to you in trading, especially for your emotions, because, you know, they have to look into the company. They have to go, hey, you know, we think you're up to some crooked shit. You know, as Jordan Belfort, you know, your CEO, let's look into this. And dude, there's no telling how long it'll take to look in it. Like I said earlier, 
earlier. It could be 20 seconds or it could be dude, six years. I've heard horror stories. And the problem is I've been stuck in, a, I've been stuck in a T12 one time in my life and I was stuck for three months. Uh, I can't remember the ticker name. Oh God, dude, I was stuck with a really, uh, I was stuck with another trader where we were just, he was shitting bricks, dude. He had 50,000 shares short. I only had like a couple thousand, but the problem is, is uh, dude, our money was locked up for months and it wasn't even the money for me because I only had starters on. I got in and then they immediately T12. So I didn't even have time to add to my position. It was like 20 seconds later, but the feeling of being handcuffed and not access to your money or whatever, what is just, it's, it's crippling. It's excruciating. So, you know, yep. that's some, and you're paying fees the whole time. Yep. Yep. So just be careful out there, guys. Definitely educate yourself before you long or short something like this. And I, I promise you, that it's gonna make all the difference in the world. And specifically at places like MIC where we teach this in so much depth that the next time something like this runs, you'll go, well, dude, I know how to trade this. Like, I, I definitely know how to trade this, let alone profit on this or just stay away completely and then you know, live to fight another day, right? I can, I'm picturing like Alex, like keg standing in Tulum right now with like a bunch of baddies surrounding him. <laughs> like, what do you think Alex is up to right now? Dude, Alex needed a vacation so bad. <clears throat> we work so freaking hard, man, that every now and then you just got to blow off some steam, man. Let me tell you. Oh, I'm going to show you one decent trade. Dude, today's so slow. Dude, yeah, it's been slow. But you know what? It's good because it's going to build your discipline level, guys. It's going gonna, it's gonna to build different, different um, tools as a trader. What's this about ALDX? Nice. <laughs> Dude, what did you just wake up and place this fucking trade? You're insane, man. I, I, I shorted a small amount and then um, went back up and so. Oh my God, bro. I feel like the minute you came in a chat, like what did I miss? You started shorting. <laughs> What'd you hit right here? Is that? Dude, look at that. BTA. Dude, that's nice. 50 bucks. Guys, here's the thing too. Here's the thing. All you got to do is draw the resistance lines. Like I, I draw one right here and then, yeah, you could draw one right here. I mean, these, these pre-market levels are set up, right? Like these are pretty much the three pre-market levels I draw. So bow scaled two of them. That's the way to do it. Whole and half dollar number. So right. I split out the size I wanted into two orders. I scale in two on these. Nice little scalp there, but I love it. No, I'm, still in, I'm still in half, but. I'd probably draw it right there, actually. My yeah, average is 418, 1418. Nice. So I, so I covered, I kind of like, I made a little bit on the first one, so I'm just kind of holding it. The rest of the cover, and hopefully go back down. But this one should have broken down, but the problem is it's so damn slow, man. So they, you know, there's no volume, so you have to go really small because they will trade against you. I agree, brother. I agree. And guys, you know, don't, don't feel left out, man. Like, oh man, I only know small caps, you know, big caps or et cetera, et cetera. Dude, big caps are even slow right now. I know we got a couple, you know, we're in earnings week a little bit and we got some things like Apple. We got some things like, I know like Shopify or uh, what Shopify did great today, but Spotify is down. Like, dude, it's, it's just slow, man. It's slow, but you know, they had bad earnings, et cetera. It's just slow outside of an earnings right now. There's not much, you know, there's not much going on. It's a little bit of summer, right? Mm-hmm. Faye, you want to come on? <clears throat> Bring Faye on. Faye, come on. Give me a thumbs up. Get out of that business meeting. Put that bong down. <laughs> Put that anime down. Let's go. He's, he's fucking trading BTS. <laughs> <laughs> Faye's long like 30,000 shares at 38 probably. Come on, Faye. I didn't know we, need, we, we need some feminine voices in here, man. Seriously, I'm so tired just hearing guy voices all day. Dude, this industry is run by dudes. Come on, Faye, where are you at? Don't get the stage fright. We know you're listening. You just posted. <laughs> She's ducking and dodging. She's trading this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she, she's trading it. 
50. Good God, dude, look at this thing. 53, bro. This is crazy. Dude, what did I say? Guys, what did I say at the beginning of this webinar? We are right here. I'll go live for you. This is when we started this webinar. I said, who knows if not tomorrow, this stock will be at $70 a share. If this continues the way it's doing, tomorrow it will gap up to 70 share. This is don't the don't, shit. Don't say that because there'll be somebody here trying to gap it overnight. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And then blame Tosh us. Says it's gonna be 70 bucks. Tosh says it's gonna be 70 in the T12 all that's at 10. The point is, guys, is what remember what I just said. It's not a long and it's not a short. Just you you missed the boat on the long, man. You did. Who knows what this could do? This could be ten dollars by tomorrow, it could be nine. <laughs> Who the fuck knows? Wait, it's when these gambling. when these things run, what I like are the sympathies. So look for the sympathies to this play. What's weird about is they haven't started yet. Like yeah, what the hell do they do? Dude, where are they? I've been like waiting for them. I didn't look this up. I, I woke up late. But what the hell do they do? This, uh, I don't, there's like nothing going on right now. Where are the simps? They, they do. What the hell do they do? <laughs> Maybe I just missed them in the webinar. But guys, do you, are there any sympathies at BTX right now? And me and Bao can explain what that is uh, for those who don't know. Therapy. What the fuck is that? I'm here. I'll, I'll tell you what they do. I have no clue what that is. Cytokine based therapy. <laughs> I read as cocaine based therapy. <laughs> <laughs> they help you with your Pornhub addiction. Psychological. <laughs> Any number of substances as. Dude. <laughs> this For is cocaine? This is the definition. I need a definition of the definition. <laughs> this is what? This is not in English, bro. <laughs> Any of a number of substances such as interferon, interleukin, and growth factors, which are secreted by certain cells of the immune system and have an effect on other cells. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> that is the English dictionary definition of a cytokine. Bro, no wonder everybody's investing in this right now. They, they think I'm it's like, bro, I, have, shit. I mean, if that's a definition, I what the fuck. <laughs> People okay. think this is going to be the next thing acquired by Jeff Bezos and Gilead. And they're really just like, help you with your porn this addiction. Is, this is the Wikipedia definition. This is the most complex thing I've ever fucking read, bro. Cytokines are a broad and loose category of small proteins, important in cell signaling. Cytokines are peptides. <laughs> peptides? <laughs> like tide cleaner and cannot cross the lipid bilayer of cells to enter the cytoplasm. Uh, cytokines have been shown to be involved in autocrine, panocrine, and endocrine signals oh, as an inundating agent. Jesus. I'm like, bro, I need to look up every single word. <laughs> oh, this is the connect. The I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, this is this is too complex shit. Dude. That's, that's too complex, man. They're this trying to sound so, smart. This is some sort of drug, dude. It's a protein. <laughs> I still don't know what to do. <laughs> <laughs> does anybody know what cytokine does? Just find a sympathy. <laughs> <laughs> What's the sympathy? That's why there's no sympathy. <laughs> yeah, because nobody can figure out what to pump. Yeah, no one knows oh. what the fuck they do, bro. Where's uh, Faye? Three thirty. Guys, uh, for, hey. now you want to just explain really quickly to people who are probably really clueless about what a sympathy is. A sympathy is a stock that is similar to the stock that's running. So what happens when a stock runs up, such as let's say an airline, like American Airlines reports giant numbers, United Airlines stock and Delta will go up. Yep, just because they're in the same sector. And, when the, and what I like about that is when you short, do not short the head of the snake, which is the main mover, you short the sympathy plays because the sympathy plays are up for no reason except the fact that their competitor is up. Yep, guys, so when you see like two and three dollar even, or $17 stocks that are trying to make a move, this is the head of the Show snake. Show the video, Gosh. What, What's that? Show them the sector play video and the... Uh, yeah, I think, I think we have a ton of that. That's there. what the sympathy is. So we have, then we have a library on everything, guys, so. What's that, guys? Yeah, what yeah, Usually right about trading live, but we're just a little handicapped right now. Um, There's nothing to trade. <laughs> what would it be under? Is it under sector plays or let's yeah, see. sector? Uh, Is there sector? No, I don't see. Uh, what uh, I'm trying to think. All the keywords. Um, sympathy. Maybe sympathies. 
Yep, sympathy. Sympathy trading or sympathy. So I would go in there sympathy trading. Right here, guys. Yep, yep. Sympathy plays, sympathy second plays. A uh, second plays. Second play. Where's Red Day too? Dude, well, yeah, because sometimes they play hand in hand for sure. Look at that, dude. If you take a look at the sector plays, episode two, Trader Clinic right there, dude. You could have nailed MVIS. Oh, dude, which one was this again? Was this MVIS? No. No, but I'm saying if you if you just watch that video. Oh, I see what you're saying. Guys, you're gonna learn everything. You could, uh, watch it, learn from it, and see how, you know. Uh, cytokines is just your body's reaction to some sort of infection or allergy. That is what causes fever, fatigue. Nice. Cool. Thank you, yeah. Lawrence, sir. Yeah. So what we're gonna what we're gonna realize is that when the when the sectors or the when the sympathy plays spring up, guys, what you'll see is just you know anywhere from one to five, um, you know that are in the same sector that are trying to bum rush and piggyback this kind of news. And really, you know, not even the news, they're trying to piggyback this kind of price action because they see the head of the snake or the King Cobra, you know, the quote unquote King Cobra head of the snake is booming, dude. This thing, who knows what this is gonna do, right? Who knows, can it see a hundred? Who knows, dude, could it see 10? Nobody has any idea, but because this is such a drastic move and has all eyes and attention and volume, all these littler companies are just going to try to piggyback some of this momentum and steam and they'll get a little traction, but they never make it as high. They never do anything extraordinary. And once the backside kicks in on sympathies, that's, those are the easiest trades. When, when Alex some odd years ago, around four years ago, did his first hundred thousand dollar day. If you guys remember in the shipping sector, which we talk about a lot, Alex was looking at what was, what was the, um, um, now I'm, I'm blanking. I what not DCIX. What was the main one? Uh, Dries. Dries. Oh, Dries. Yeah. So when Dries lit up that move, just like BTX is lighting up that move, guys, he was on ESEA. He was on DCIX. He was on all of the others that were less powerful, but still up only because Dries was up. That's the same kind of um, thought process behind this. Yes, sir. Dude. <laughs> Man, we give away a lot on these damn webinars. <laughs> Yeah, man. Time to psycho king the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're, just, we're, we're about to protein our way out of here. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for attending. Guys, any last minute question, just really quick, or, or I think uh, we'll pick this up next week. Hopefully, I think it's just a little me bit. Talking back and forth right now, Tosh. What's that, buddy? Just me and you talking back and forth right now. <laughs> serious. <laughs> you guys wait all week to ask us questions, then you get trigger happy or trigger shy. You know? All right, it's lunchtime for me and Bao. I'm definitely done trading today. Uh, I'll be in PMs, guys, for the rest of the day. Uh, all right. if you need any see help, you on Twitter. Yeah, man, if you need any help, reach out to us. And Bao, dude, always fun, buddy. I'll see you next week. All right, bye-bye. See you, bud. Bye, guys. Thanks.